you come up with new ideas? Anything could spark like an idea, you know? You wear so many different hats in the creative process. How would you describe your filmmaking? I consider myself to be a narrative filmmaker, uh, even though I put experimental or impressionistic elements in my movies. What I'm working on now is uh, animation, but uh, yeah, I do like to try different things. But see, this is me just randomly moving the arm, but I don't know what this person should do. This is the part where I will actually physically like get in that position and be like, what would I, if I was a monkey, what would I do? Hey. <laughs> I'm working with a painter, Shiva Amadi, uh, remotely. She lives in California. I'm the animator. I am taking her artwork and making it move. We were talking about was kind of putting a couple of other monkeys in the back of the one that is sitting on top of the lake. And then uh, increase their transparency and give the illusion of a moving painting as opposed to just some digital animation. Yes. It's just a matter of kind of putting these elements together and just composing the shots. But I say that, but Shiva, even at this moment, is painting new things to put in, so, you know. But I feel confident I can get it done in a month. The opening shot was actually the most difficult thing. It was the first thing that was finalized because every single one of those leaves was placed individually. She, she takes photos of her paintings, sends me the images, and then here I'm putting it together into an animation. This is a full sequence of shots with every single detail in place, which is all the bubbles, um, all the different uh, figures, the monkeys were placed in position by me, and then she would review them, and then we would, might recompose the shot. So it took a while to get to each of these compositions. I think these bubbles are kind of like ideas or ideals. Okay. And these are like citizens, and the, the monkey that has the scarf around his neck, he's the king. Something he does later on, or some, you know, maybe it's in the way he, his coloring changes, or maybe the bubble that he's playing with turns into a bomb, but something about him is going to sort of probably introduce a shift in the tone of it. My question to you, uh -huh. are you happy with this final scene? There's tiny details that I would fix, and they're, they're little aesthetic things, but she's happy with it, and she was also able to show this opening sequence to her gallery in New York, and they're really excited about it. I'm really happy with it.